Hi, I'm Missouri Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder. Much has been said about the push for health care legislation proposed by President Obama and crafted by Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid. The legislation passed 14 to 9 in a Senate committee. Today, I want to set the record straight on how this government-run health care plan would truly affect all Missourians. As we speak, the feds want you to believe that their proposed takeover of our health care system won't add to an already spiraling national deficit. But what may be more important is what they aren't saying. They aren't telling you that all us state taxpayers will be required to pick up the tab. Governors from both parties across the nation are sounding off on this proposal. Among the most outspoken critics is Tennessee Governor Phil Bredesen, a highly respected Democrat. In the 1990s, Tennessee's expanded Medicaid program put that great state on a path to bankruptcy. So in 2005, Democratic Governor Bredesen cut hundreds of thousands from his state's Medicaid rolls to return Tennessee to fiscal health. Governor Bredesen has said he opposes this government-run health care plan because he knows from bitter experience just how much this will cost his state, a figure he said could be as much as $1.2 billion over five years. You see, just as with our Tennessee neighbors, for Missourians, this bill would undo all the tough financial decisions your legislators have made and would return us to policies that could bankrupt our state. So far, Governor Nixon has remained silent on this plan. Well, here's a straightforward answer. The state of Missouri simply does not have enough money to pay for government-run health care without making drastic cuts to fundamental services. In fact, this proposal could not have come at a worse time for our state. We are in the midst of the worst unemployment in more than a quarter century. As predicted, State revenue continues to plummet. And right now, Missourians are struggling to pay everyday expenses. So how much would this plan cost Missouri? The answer, this would cost Missourians nearly $2.3 billion more than current law over five years. That's $450 million more for Missouri taxpayers every year. How much is $450 million? It's about the same amount we spend annually to run every prison in the state of Missouri. It's about half of what we spend every year on higher education. So how will we pay for this health care experiment? Will we release all the prisoners and fire more than 11,000 correction employees? Will we close our state's universities? Or will you be forced to pay more of your hard-earned dollars in higher taxes? These are exactly the kind of choices we will have to make if Congress passes this so-called health care reform. It is simply unconscionable to think that our Senator Claire McCaskill would support dumping this economic nightmare in the laps of every taxpaying Missourian. Respectfully, I believe it is time for Senator McCaskill and Governor Nixon to fully explain and answer to Missourians where they stand on this proposal because the time for silence is over. Now is the time for you to get involved and make your voice heard. We must join together and tell our congressional delegation that government cannot spend its way back to prosperity. Those who vote in favor of government-run health care are doing so at the cost of Missouri's future. Visit the website below and make your voice heard before it is too late.